Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is E and H plane microwave T. Before starting this E and H plane, we should know one more concept that is the scattering parameter, which is S parameter. From the exam point of view, you may expect the question like this. What are S parameters? List out its properties or what is the need of S parameters at microwave frequency? Because these S parameters, whatever we are going to discuss right now, are applicable for uh, the remaining entire unit. So first let us talk about the S parameter. As I said, S means scattering parameter. In earlier subjects, you might have learned two port network parameters. That, uh, that parameters are Z parameters, then Y parameters, then uh, T transmission parameters, hybrid parameters and so on. These are the normal parameters which you have studied how to use it for two port electrical network. Now, these parameters, they say Z, hai, Y, hai, T, that is ABCD parameters and hybrid parameters, H parameters. Ye micro frequency may use nahi kar sakte because there are certain reasons. So first reason is that this, if I'm talking about Z or and Y parameter or any rather any parameter, then we know that we are dealing with current and voltage at micro frequency since frequency is very large, very high. It is difficult to measure voltage and current. This is first uh, problem why we cannot use such parameters at the micro frequency. Second is we know that while calculating Z or Y parameters, we need to either short circuit the port or open circuit the ports. That means for doing the calculations, we need to either perform the short circuit or open circuit. But at very high frequency like microwave frequency, it's difficult to open or short circuit the terminals. And third important drawback is that certain microwave devices like microwave transistors and so on are uh, having instability. So because of these reasons, these normal parameters which are used in normal electrical circuits are not applicable at micro frequency. So one extra parameter is developed that is called scattering parameter or scattering matrix S parameters. Consider a microwave junction. By, what is a microwave junction? Different, let us say, in some application, different micro devices are connected to one center point. So this is the micro junction S I J. This suffix I J uh, means in this case, the notations I J can be having any value like one, two, three up to N. So it can be S11, S12, S21, S22 and so on. So this, this represents, this notation represents S parameter. Now, uh, some extra notations are shown in this diagram. Before that, just say, I have told you, these are ports, these are micro devices we are connecting to a center point. Pe. So, this is port 1, this is port 2, port 3, up to port N. Let us say there are N number of ports. Now, A and B, small a and B, are some extra notations which are shown in this diagram. A is the incident micro energy. B is the reflected wave, reflected microwave signal. So A1 is incident microwave signal for port 1, B1 is reflected microwave signal from port 1 and so on. Likewise for port 2, A2, B2 for port 3, notations are A3, uh, B3 and up to port N, notations are AN and BN. In general, this S parameter, it, do remember one basic thing, S parameter is always a square matrix. So the generalized notations are like this. This is matrix S, so S11, S12 up to S1N, second row is S21, S22 up to S2N, likewise SN1, SN2 up to SNN. So this is the way how to represent the S parameter in the matrix form. Now. Uh, as I said, the question may include like this, uh, list out the properties of S parameter. So first is symmetry property. If uh, these properties are uh, almost similar to the uh, earlier properties, that means that means uh, the properties of Z, Y and so on, uh, these parameters. So first is symmetry property. If the micro junction is reciprocal, then symmetry property indicates matrix S 
as i mentioned this s parameters can be written in the form of matrix so matrix s is equals to matrix s transpose we know that in case of transpose rows and columns are uh, interchange then unity property summation sij into this is multiplication sign sij asterisk do remember asterisk means complex conjugate just recall the things what is complex con conjugate if some value is 2 plus j3 then its complex conjugate is 2 minus j3 very simple just change the sign of this imaginary term so that means instead of plus if you use minus it represents complex conjugate so sij into its complex conjugate is equals to only likewise if you take addition of all such terms then answer is one this is unity property that means if you, if if this term is s12 then s12 dot s12 asterisk plus another term like s21 dot s21 asterisk and so on if you take addition of all such terms answer is one so it is unity property next is zero property I, I have used one more notation that is k and let us say range of k is 1 to n so s k i into s k j this this first term is common for example if it is s 1 1 uh, or let us make it more simple s 1 2 that means I am putting value of uh, i is equals to 2 s 1 2 and k is 1 dot that means into multiplication s 1 this k remains as it is and j this i is 2 so j can be any different value like 3 likewise if you take and it's complex conjugate so original value of s13 might be different if you take complex conjugate then it is represented by s13 asterisk likewise if you um, add up all such terms then answer is 0 that is the 0 property make it more simple agar eta plug rahe to aise yaad rakh lo property in case of matching conditions the answer of s parameter is always zero that means if the codes are matched answer is zero that is the zero property then phase shift property if any port is moved by electrical distance beta into l this notation is beta beta is the phase shift if any port is moved by the distance beta into l l is the length beta is the phase shift then the coefficient corresponding coefficient of s parameter is multiplied by the term e raised to minus j beta n so these are the properties of s parameter as such we are going to make use of all these values i mean all these s parameters throughout the remaining subject next is e plane t from the exam point of view we may expect the question like this draw the diagram of e plane t and explain its uh, operation so this is the basic diagram of e plane t E is electric field intensity. As shown in this diagram, we have considered that electric field intensity is in vertical upward direction. So this is E bar, electric field intensity, which is in upward direction. This is the basic diagram of E plane T. Now, see, here, this diagram is clear. Port 1, port 2, port 3. That means three ports are there same diagram is there so this is port 1 this is port 2 and this is port 3 port 1 and 2 the age of horizontal portion this portion i'm talking about is called main arm whereas this perpendicular portion perpendicular port is called auxiliary arm so in case of e plane t the auxiliary arm is in the same direction as that of e bar whereas this port 1 and port 2, that means this, this port 1 and port 2, I am talking about this line, that means in this diagram, this particular section. This is the main arm which is perpendicular to the direction of E bar, that is electric field intensity. So this is the structural details of E plane T. Now, very important concept is, we have to apply a dominant T mode. In earlier unit, we have learned in case of transverse electric, that is TE, the dominant mode is T10 mode. So if you apply T10 mode to the auxiliary arm, देखो, ये auxiliary arm है, मतलब in this diagram, this is the auxiliary arm, vertical जो है, वो auxiliary arm है. यहां से हम लोग input apply करेंगे, let us say we are applying T10 signal. So, if T10 mode is applied as an input to port 3, that means to the auxiliary port, auxiliary arm, then the main characteristics of this junction is, at this junction, 
द बेंडिंग ऑफ वेव टेक्स प्लेस अब देखो राइट हैंड साइड में मतलब टूवर्ड्स पोर्ट टू राइट हैंड साइड में पोर्ट टू है टूवर्ड्स पोर्ट टू ड्यू टू बेंडिंग द डायरेक्शन ऑफ फील्ड इज डाउनवर्ड वेर एज एट द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड दैट मीन्स टूवर्ड्स पोर्ट वन अगेन ड्यू टू बेंडिंग द डायरेक्शन ऑफ दिस फील्ड लाइन इज अपवर्ड तो हम लोग यहां से इनपुट अप्लाई करेंगे तो दोनों साइड से आउटपुट बाहर आएगा सो आउटपुट विल बी फ्रॉम पोर्ट वन एंड पोर्ट टू बट इन केस ऑफ पोर्ट टू इट इज इन डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन वाइल इन केस ऑफ पोर्ट वन इट इज इन अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन सो बोथ दीज आउटपुट आर सिंस दे आर नॉट इन सेम डायरेक्शन दे आर इन अपोजिट डायरेक्शन दे आर सेट टू बी वन डिग्री 180 डिग्री फेज शिफ्टेड दिस इज वन फिनोमेन सेकेंड केस इंस्टेड ऑफ अप्लाइंग इनपुट टू द ऑक्सिलियर आर्म सपोज विल अप्लाई इनपुट फ्रॉम बोथ दीज एंड मतलब दो दो मेन आर्म है जैसे इस डायग्राम में देखा है ये और ये पार्ट दिस एंड दिस पार्ट सिमिलरली इन दिस डायग्राम दिस टू पोर्ट्स दिस इज द पार्ट ऑफ मेन आर्म इफ यू अप्लाई इनपुट फ्रॉम टू मेन आर्म एंड बोथ दीज इनपुट आर इन सेम डायरेक्शन दे आर इन फेज देखो बोथ दीज इनपुट बोथ दीज फील्ड लाइन आर इन अपर डायरेक्शन दैट मीन्स दे आर इन फेज इन दिस केस एट द आउटपुट आउटपुट इज जनरेटेड फ्रॉम दिस आर्म दैट इज फ्रॉम द ऑब्जिल आर्म यहां से आउटपुट आ रहा है at the output look at these two lines this blue uh, colored line and red colored line these are in opposite direction so output will be zero very interesting concept this is the, at both from both sides we are applying input input is in phase but output will be zero suppose i will change the direction and suppose now the direction of this input is downward that means compared to the first case I mean compared to this port, यहां से अपर डायरेक्शन यहां से डाउन हो रहे देन इन दैट केस एट द आउटपुट ऑल द फील्ड लाइन्स विल बी इन फेज तो डायरेक्शन ऐसे होगा दे विल बी इन फेज एंड यू आर गेटिंग अ मैक्सिम आउटपुट सो दिस इज अबाउट द वर्किंग एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ ई प्लेटी नाउ अबाउट एस मैट्रिक्स सिंस देर आर थ्री पोर्ट्स पोर्ट वन पोर्ट टू पोर्ट थ्री the size of matrix s matrix will be 3 by 3 3 rows and 3 columns notations are s11 s12 s13 same way s21 s22 s23 s31 s32 s33 this is the s matrix uh you need to remember this matrix so these are the values of s matrix as far as this e plane t junction is concerned applications of e plane it is used as an isolator hum log uh, we are going to study in detail what is isolator and uh, so on in the later uh, videos so it is used as an isolator as well as it can be used as an adder jaise is diagram is the uh, case mein humne discuss kiya do uh, from both the ends of main arm if you are applying input and both these inputs are in opposite direction at the output addition takes place and maximum output is generated so basically e plant is used as isolator or it can be used as an adder next is h plant this is the diagram for h plant we are again considering the direction of electric field in upward this is the main arm this part is auxiliary arm it is very much similar uh, to the discussion of e plenty only slight differences are there this is port 1 port 2 port 3 suppose we are applying input uh, power to the port 3 that means from the auxiliary arm you are applying input then from two main arms you you will be getting output so in case of e plenty if the input is applied to auxiliary port and we are generating output from the uh, port 1 and port 2 we discuss that the output fields are in opposite direction are out of phase but in this case the output field is in the same direction so this is the major difference between e and h plenty then as shown in this diagram if you are applying input from both sides of main port and if the input is in phase they are along same direction as shown in this diagram then at the output addition or summation takes place and you are getting a maximum output suppose ye direction hum log ek field ka revert karenge matlab 180 degree phase shift karenge matlab ye downward karenge then at the output you are getting a zero uh, value so this is the s matrix for h plane t again this is the standard matrix like uh, e plane so this is the s parameter matrix for h plane t 
एप्लीकेशन आर इट इज यूज टू कपल द टू डिवाइसेस और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ट्रांसफर हब पॉवर इक्वली टू द टू डिवाइसेस देन दिस टाइप ऑफ एच प्लेंटी इज यूज एज वेल एज इट कैन बी यूज एज एन एडर सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दैट्स इट फॉर टूडे सेशन सो थैंक यू थैंक्स अ लॉट फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो